652, time for the morning sprint. We start with those alert days, snow, high wind, and dangerous wind chills. Greg Barnhart is tracking it all. Greg? Yeah, this morning really is just going to be the light snow bands that are cushioned through and the temperature's starting to fall, which can refreeze a little bit. The winds are starting to pick up out to the west. You can see radar, we're kind of seeing the bands start to, that one to the south is one that we're going to be watching. You can see future track brings that back up this later this morning into this afternoon. So more light snow and the winds will start picking up this afternoon. That's really when the issue becomes you see temperatures will continue to fall across all the areas. Winds will pick up 15 to 25 miles per hour. That'll create the blowing of drift by this afternoon and those wind chills will start to drop that time frame and it'll last through early Saturday. All right, Greg, thank you. We are tracking the latest road conditions on the live drive this morning. This is a look at the Beltline at this hour. Looks like I'm seeing some lights on one of the lanes there. I don't know if that's cruise or if that were police vehicles, but do keep that in mind out there. There's going to be a lot of folks trying to get out there and make the roads safer for you. Give them extra space. Again, this is a live look at the Beltline where we're seeing some snow cover out there. We do expect deteriorating conditions when the wind picks up later today. The Red Cross canceled its big blood drive scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, the drives planned for both Friday in Madison and Green Bay will no longer happen. The Red Cross says all told more than 800 uncollected units of blood and platelets are tied to these major annual drives. Dane County's Henry Vilas Zoo has also made the decision to cancel two nights of its popular zoo lights. With the sub-zero temperatures, the zoo lights will be closed tonight and tomorrow. The zoo says the extreme temperatures can affect the lights and the expected sustained winds will make clearing walking paths difficult. You can still check out the zoo lights next week. They go until the end of the month. Local officials sharing some ways to stay safe on the ice. They suggest carrying a cell phone higher up on your body so that way if you fall through, you can get to it quicker. It's also important to wear proper equipment like a life jacket. And here's a big one. Uh, you should postpone any ice fishing plans until after this week's storms. And be sure to let family and friends know that you will be on the lake and when you'll be returning home. 17-year-old Barbara Carr and Yang is accused of strangling and assaulting a girl at a homecoming house party last fall. Days after the alleged incident, students at East High staged a walkout in support of the victim. The school district later reassigning the principal after students protested about his handling of the situation. He has a status conference at 1130 today. His trial starts March 21st. The RNC announcing the dates for the 2024 Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. They'll be the 15th of July through the 18th, 2024. Although specific details on where those events will happen have not been released. Governor Evers right now signing Executive Order 180, ordering U.S. and Wisconsin flags to be flown at half staff in honor of Andre Cross, the U.S. postal worker killed on Friday, December 9th. Evers says that Cross committed 18 years of his career to the Postal Service and community. Funeral services will be held today in Milwaukee. WNBA star Brittany Griner is on a mission to free other Americans who are currently detained in Russia. In a message online, she asked her fans to write letters of support to Paul Whelan, the former U.S. Marine who's still being held in Russia. Griner said the letters that she got while in detention, quote, Help me to not lose hope. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky left his country for the first time since Russia began its invasion to address a joint meeting of Congress. It comes on the heels of a $1.8 billion defense package and the U.S. providing Patriot missile defense systems. President Biden says the United States will stay with Ukraine as long as it takes. And we still got the alert day going in effect, like I said, as the winds increase today, the blowing and drifting, and then even the dangerous wind chills are all be a factor as we go on later today through Saturday. Something to keep in mind of right now. The snow amounts today, maybe one to three, one to four inches. That won't be the real big story. It'll be the blowing and drifting. They'll start today, even increase tomorrow. And the cold temperatures, zero by this evening, and then it just keeps going down with strong low wind chills. Right now, we do have a couple crashes up to the interstate towards the Dells to keep in mind of. Uh, slick conditions are likely to be affected by that. Zooming in across there's no impacts right now going on besides just the snow-covered roads in the Dane County area. As you notice, the alert days go through Saturday. It's going to be a cold Christmas, but we have some good news. It does warm up next week. All right, Greg, thank you. We do have a live picture of that crash at this hour. Again, this is I-94 in Sock County. The left lane is blocked at County Road 90. Again, this is the westbound lanes. We're back with another live update at 726.